Bonjour et bienvenue sur le journal du Geek, euh, c'est Anne et je suis avec Greg sur le stand d'Ubuntu tout simplement pour vous présenter une vidéo, donc ça va être en anglais euh, de l'Ubuntu Phone, euh, donc le monsieur va nous faire une démo, donc ça va être en anglais, donc euh, bah voilà, donc pour les anglophobes ça va être un peu dur, mais on va faire avec. Uh, hi, so we're, we're showing Ubuntu for phones, a um, couple of things to point out to start out with is this is Ubuntu, uh, it's got the same user experience that's uh, similar to what's on the desktop, uh, would be on the tablet, on the TV. Uh, they're all consistent and um, it allows us to uh, support things like converged devices which uh, can, can work with different uh, screen configurations depending on the setup and show you know, full, full desktop applications down to a, a phone uh, type application. So what we're looking at here is the welcome screen and the, what you're going to notice is that we don't rely on any hard buttons and we don't use any of the screen real estate for uh, dedicated soft buttons and rather we rely on the use of the edges. So um, on the welcome screen this is like a personal visualization of things that are going on in your life with your phone and this will change over time. From this interface I, I have access to my favorite applications. I can pull from this side and I can go back to my my last application, I can go here and I can open it up to the home screen. This, this home view shows all my recent activity, my frequently used applications, my media, music and videos. If I go to the right, I see another view which is my applications, my running applications, frequently used, the ones that are installed and even the ones that are available to download. If I go again to the right, I can see videos. I can navigate down here, I can go to my music, I can come here, and this is an interesting view which is all my, my contacts, all the people that I'm interfacing with. So I have all my phone calls, my text messages, and even you know posts from online uh, networking sites like Facebook, and I could, I could interact with that directly from here. Um, now all, we have support for both native applications and HTML applications. So here you see Facebook is an, is an HTML application. Right beside it is the gallery, the photo gallery, which is a native application. Our native applications are written with our toolkit, which uses Qt and QML uh, to give a very nice experience. Here I can open a photograph. And now I go to the bottom edge and Anything I want to do with this photograph is now available to me by pulling up from the bottom. So if I want to share the photograph, it's one step, and I go and I, I bring up my Facebook app and then I can share it on the internet. Going to the top, you see the, the standard set of indicators for the phone. But if I want to change something to do with my uh, power or look at my messages, I don't have to hunt around. I can go right here, pull down, and it's available to me immediately. So I can go and look at my battery status, and go right back to the application I was in. Similarly, I can go to my messages, and I can interact with them directly here in this messaging interface. Again, dismiss it and right back to the applications. Now, to move between all the applications I'm working with, I go to the right edge, and I can simply flip through and cycle through them quickly and easily. If I want to go back, and see all my running applications in my home, I just do a quick swipe from the right. So it's all there with one swipe using all four edges, uh, crisp and clean interface based on Unity, which is common across all the Ubuntu platforms. So um, is it a free system or something like that? So all the code, all the uh, source is open source. Um, we will publish reference images for uh, phones like this one, the Galaxy Nexus. Um, we will also be working with manufacturers and operators to bring products into market, uh, hopefully sometime this year. Okay. Thank you very much, and have a nice day.